everybody. This is my California fire update. I want to again recommend one Pacific Redwood. He has been documenting how they are okay. artificially keeping the rain from falling down where it is needed the most in Southern California. And these videos that he has posted yesterday on the 8th, and he has another one. Where is it? There was one on the 10th, 8th, 4th, 3rd. Um, yeah, well, this is, this is the world that we live in now, this is what life has become when we know that they are deliberately allowing fires to continue to destroy people's homes. We know about the geoengineering, we know about the technology that they can use to manipulate the jet stream and, and to cause drought or to cause flooding. And they have caused tremendous drought in California, but they are also causing, right now, they're preventing rain from entering into Southern California. And that is what One Pacific Redwood is showing us. Now, I do want to point out, One Pacific Redwood, I believe, lives in the foothills. And just learned that the foothills are threatened by this Thomas fire. I also want to tell you about Ortega Blue's channel. Ortega Blue lives in Summerland. And Summerland is under threat right now, but she has been documenting the chemtrailing. 20 hours ago, she posted the latest video, December 10th, Summerland, Sunday afternoon. Look at that sky. Look at the sky. They're doing a lot of chemtrailing. But she has also posted videos on interviewing people who are evacuating. And here is a man who is evacuating the area. We just saw some deer, you know. Yeah, so deer, deer are running down from the mountains. Deer are running down from the mountains. Don't you love YouTube? Okay. Yeah, okay. I hope, I hope you get, get this figured out. Sorry to hear that. He got evacuated from... Okay, you got to see these dogs. He got evacuated from his place, forced to leave. <laughs> and they bark, you know. Forced to leave. And it's now just a wait and see whether or not Ortega Blue will be forced to leave, forced to leave her area, as well as one Pacific Redwood, if I'm correct about where he lives. I will link below to this uh, California wildfires latest update it is live and it seems to be the only channel that has live coverage of these fires but I thought it was interesting as I was watching it earlier today that you know suddenly there is this huge number of acreage that has burned in less than 24 hours. All of the uh, articles that I came across yesterday and I posted my video, I virtually every mainstream media article was stating that the acreage that had burned was, I think, 143,000. And I wake up this morning and it's 223,000. And now the latest that I've seen, one mainstream media article said it was 243,000, but most are saying that it's 237,000.
and it is now only 20% contained. 20% contained. California wildfires have destroyed 1,000 structures and counting. Don't you love it when they say structures? 1,000 homes and businesses and counting. You know, the colors that we are seeing. These bright red areas that are burning up. Maybe that's, maybe that's normal for these kinds of fires, but I've never seen it so uh, red. So yes, um, firefighters are still, firefighters are still at it in, in Santa Barbara, in Ventura, in Carpinteria. They're claiming the that wildfires. Sorry, that they're they're claiming that the Santa Ana winds continue. Have they ever gone on this long? Have they ever gone on this long? Here it says two hundred and thirty one thousand seven hundred acres. You read other mainstream media articles, it's two hundred and thirty seven thousand, two hundred and thirty three thousand, one, two hundred and forty three thousand. Um, I'm very worried about now another subscriber who lives in California but drove down to Carpinteria because her family and relatives live in Carpinteria and I have not heard from her and homes have burned down in Carpinteria. Southern California wildfires get the latest on each blaze. So, I will link below to this Thomas fire. Flames were rolling through the foothills near Santa Barbara with thousands of residents under evacuation orders. The blaze moved west in the Carpinteria and Montecito areas, coastal Santa Barbara County cities. The fire's recent path had been in the eastern and northern fronts in unoccupied areas of Los Padres National Forest. This fire has been raging for a solid week and it's only 20% contained. So, as the Southern California fires rage, a Boeing 70, uh, 747 joins the fight. Just now? Just now, it's joining the fight? Why? Just now. A week long. Why didn't they get Boeing 747s in there? to drop massive quantities of fire retardant from just 200 feet above the ground. 200 feet above the ground? Can a Boeing 747 fly 200 feet, 200 feet above the ground? Uh, why weren't they doing this earlier? So this is CAL FIRE. And this is the latest update. Severe fire weather will continue to promote significant fire growth further into Santa Barbara County, threatening the communities of Montecito, where the celebrities live. You come across these articles, mainstream media articles. More evacuation, Santa Barbara, and Montecito, where the celebrities live, where the celebrities live, the celebrities, oh, they're running from the fires. Celebrities. We really do have <laughs> this uh, astounding way of valuing people based on wealth and fame. 
we place more value on celebrities than we do ordinary people. We place more value on police officers and firefighters than we do ordinary people. I've always found that a little strange. But, yes, communities of Montecito and Summerland, where Ortega Blue is. Gusty Santa Ana winds will continue to push fire to the west, while very low fuel moistures, high temperatures, and single-digit relative humili hum humidities will support fire growth on the west and north sides. Extreme fire behavior will continue to hamper control efforts. Firefighters will remain engaged in structure, defense operations, and scout for opportunities to establish direct perimeter control. Gusty northeast winds will cause the fire to threaten areas of the city of Santa Barbara. Fire will continue to threaten the communities of Carpinteria, Summerlin, Montecito, and surrounding areas. Evacuation operations will occur ahead of westward fire growth. Contingency groups will work to establish contingency lines in Santa Barbara County in the areas of Windy Point, uh, Cielo, Foothills, and um, Camino. And on this page, it gives you all of the information about the school closures and evacuations, and the link is below. Yeah, this is a, a subscriber that has been sending me so much information, and uh, she's been incredibly supportive told me that she was driving down to Carpinteria where her parents and other family members live. So not hearing from her all day, it does get a little uh, cyber relationships, aren't they interesting? You don't have to know, you don't have to actually I don't have to have seen your face or have heard your voice. But through the years, a relationship forms. So when things like this happen, I can't stop thinking about what is going on with them. There are other subscribers who the first day of my posting on these fires, they were leaving comments saying they were very close, 10 miles from the fire. Others saying that they were very close, and I haven't heard from them either. I only know of one subscriber whose home burned to the ground, lost everything. Fire spares some Carpinteria Homes destroys others. I will be doing a video tomorrow on how Jerry Brown and the state legislature in California, they're destroying your state Californians, destroying it, destroying your lives, the rapidity with which Agenda 2030 is being implemented in California, all of us need to be paying very close attention to what is, what is happening in California because it's coming to all of us, to that mega region near you. But I will link below to uh, some of what I have been researching and what I will be focusing on this article here California's climate fight could be painful especially on job and income growth now this was posted in December well just one year ago and 
You guys in California, you have already been shafted, but man, you are in for quite a shock when you find out what your governor and your state legislatures are doing to you. And then, of course, all of the unelected bodies in counties and cities and towns in California, unelected, appointed, working essentially for the United Nations to in implement Agenda 2030. So I just wanted to give you a heads up and again want to tell you about Grindall 61's channel where he has been posting very important videos about what is taking place in California and again, you have to understand that what is happening there is coming to everyone. Everyone. Find out what is happening with the transportation and the mile tax and, uh, and watch these videos just to see residents. Yes. Residents in, in West Covina, where Grindall 61 lives, this man stands up and just calls bullshit to this um, panel of volunteers. Volunteers. These are the experts, you know, in transportation, and I may be getting some of this wrong, but these are the people who are implementing this tax by mile tax by mile plan. Listen to how many residents show up at these town council meetings in California and they sure do voice their opinion about what is taking place. But frankly, this one guy who, who just stands up and yells out bullshit Well, it's what all Americans are really needing to do. This article, I want to thank the subscriber who linked to this article below. Um, California Governor Brown imposing massive regulations for meaningless climate goals. It will affect everyone. In this article, um, the effects on agriculture, farming, business, but individuals, what you're all going to be needing to do with your homes and how much it's going to cost. Well, how about a 3000 annually, 3000 for every California household, an average of $3,000 to implement some of these rules and regulations. Understand this when they are uh, requiring of corporations, utility companies, that they have to also adhere to the regulations. Anything that's going to cost any corporation or any utility company money, it's going to be passed on to you guys you Californians. So I will post that video tomorrow. So this here is also a good site to get updates on what is happening. Southern California fires, live updates, new evacuation orders issued for Carpinteria and Montecito as Thomas fire again rages out of control. All of you guys in California, man, no, I haven't stopped thinking about you guys and whew, all of you who live in this area, I can't imagine what you are going through. Anyway, the links are below. I hope to God that those subscribers that I have not heard from 
are staying safe, are okay, and that all of you out there stay safe. Ciao, guys.